Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Orthodontics, and uh, this is Dr. Guru. I'm from the Department of Orthodontics. So today we will have a brief uh, introduction to Orthodontics lecture. So wherein uh, we will uh, discuss on uh, what uh, is Orthodontics and uh, what is expected of you. What are all the different uh, uh, topics you will be learning? Uh, what um, preclinical and uh, clinical exercises are expected of you, what are you supposed to learn in these uh, two years of uh, orthodontics course. So few lectures will be dealt by me. Uh, however, there will be few lectures uh, by Dr. Yang. As for the learning outcomes, at the end of the lecture, the student should be able to define orthodontic terms and describe the historical background of orthodontics, explain the need for orthodontic care, and also outline the aims and objectives of orthodontic treatment. So according to the American Board of Orthodontics, orthodontics is that specific area of dental practice that has as its responsibility the study and supervision of the growth and the development of the dentition and its related anatomical structures from birth to dental maturity including all preventive and corrective procedures of dental irregularities requiring the repositioning of teeth by functional or mechanical means to establish normal occlusion and pleasing facial contours. So don't worry, you don't have to memorize this. I hope you're just gonna get the gist of what exactly we deal with orthodontics. So that is what has been covered here. So basically, what are the aims of orthodontics? So this is uh, summarized as Jackson's triad and uh, the aims basically are functional efficiency, structural balance, and also aesthetic harmony. So let's go into the details of what is Jackson's triad. Functional efficiency. So it depends upon the correct relationship of teeth to each other and their orientation to skull as a whole to permit a satisfactory functioning of orofacial apparatus. So what is structural balance? Here again, uh, a stable orthodontic treatment is best achieved by maintaining a balance between the alveolar system, the skeletal system, and soft tissue. So a balance between these three is what will result in a structural balance. And also finally, aesthetic harmony. It is a matter of proportion in shape, size, and orientation of dental organs as a whole. And uh, their relationship to other facial factors. So that is what is known as aesthetic harmony. So what are you thought in orthodontics? So orthodontics is essentially a specialized type of treatment. So in your undergraduate uh, program, uh, you will have an introductory uh, account of uh, the various uh, treatment, various diagnosis, and also various deformities we usually come across in orthodontics. Also, you will uh, be provided uh, with details of limitations of removal appliances. Um, how does uh, retention and relapse work? How do you prevent them? And what are the different uh, uh, removal appliance therapy? And how do you manage certain kind of malocclusions is also taught to you. Further, you will be taking some, uh, some case histories in your fourth year to identify the possibilities of the child developing malocclusion. You will differentiate between the cases uh, indicated for removable appliance therapy and the case that requires experts consultation or when or where or how do you refer patients to a specialist and uh, how do you uh, encourage or motivate the patient to seek or undergo orthodontic treatment. So these are all uh, the various things you will uh, uh, be taught. So to put it in a nutshell, you will start from diagnosis, treatment planning, and how you actually uh, treat certain uh, simple malocclusion states for patients. So. And that's uh, the whole uh, gist of orthodontics, which will be taught to you in uh, your year three and year four. So what are the books you will be reading? Um, 
it's divided into compulsory reading and recommended reading. So compulsory reading, orthodontics, art and science by Balaji and contemporary orthodontics by Prophet. So uh, these will give you a detailed account of uh, what orthodontics is and what exactly we deal with. So recommended reading, uh, the current principles and techniques by Graeber. You can also refer to uh, Polari and uh, removal appliances by uh, Philip Adam and uh, removal appliances by MS Rani. So these are some of the books uh, you will uh, find uh, interesting. You can also refer um, Laura Michel, which uh, will give you a brief account of uh, the various treatment principles we follow in orthodontics. So these are some of the list of instruments you will be um, using or you will need to have for your preclinical exercises. So universal pliers, Adams pliers, heavy duty cutter, permanent marker and a geometry box, especially a protractor and set squares. For patient examination, you'll need a mouth mirror probe, a flexible scale, markers, dividers, and a metallic scale. Now, coming to the preclinical exercises you'll be uh, performing in your third year, there are some basic wire bending exercises which will be part of your first posting straightening of wire, rectangle, and uh, upper and lower arch forms, and also a clasp such as C clasp, Jackson's clasp, Adams, and a triangular clasp. Second posting will involve uh, labial bows, that's four, four types of them, short, long, split and bigs, and also appliances, that is upper and lower hollies, hollies with the tongue spike, hollies with finger spring, hollies with double cantilever spring, and uh, hollies with coffin spring. Uh, when it comes to your fourth year, first posting, there will be demonstration of case histories, and you will be recording uh, two to five case histories. The exact number we will confirm later. Uh, also, you will be doing some actualization of uh, your preclinical appliances, though that's the, the, the different kinds of hollies we spoke about. And your second postings will be on uh, demonstration of uh, uh, your cephalometric tracing. And you will trace two cephalograms and also perform cephalometric analysis on two cases model analysis as well uh, and your final uh, clinical postings will be impression taking and preparation of study uh, models uh, alongside your case history and also you will uh, design and uh, fabricate and deliver two removable appliances for uh, two of your patients so those are uh, you know, some of the uh, preclinical and clinical uh, exercises you are expected to uh, complete during your two years of uh, study. So with that we've come to the last slide of today's lecture. So today's lecture has been a very brief one because it is just um, introducing you and welcoming you to the field of orthodontics which is an amazing field. So uh, in the next lecture series you will learn on uh, or hear about uh, the growth and development, the etiology of malocclusion, the biology of tooth movement and so on. So with that we shall uh, wind up today's lecture. Thank you so much for listening.